a very good morning to all myself harsh rathor assistant professor department of civil engineering sirt bhopal today i am going to give a brief introductions about strength of material it is a very important subject of civil engineering stream so let me start here it is the scheme of third semester in which strength of material subject are occur and the subject code is ce305 and subject name is strength of material having 100 per 100 mark in theory stream and 50 mark in practical stream so total weightage of this subject is 150 mark data are the syllabus content of uh, strength of material subject consisting of five unit unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 Uh, unit one consists of simple stress. Unit four consists of bending and shearing stress. In unit third, we determine slope and deflection. In unit four, we find what are the behavior of column and strut. In unit five, we deal with torsion of shaft. So let me start unit one. The name of unit one is simple stress and strain. and here we start the introduction portion of the subject as well as the unit one so basically what are the strength of material strength of materials is the name indicate we are dealing with the strength of material what are the materials strength is sufficient to resist the load coming over on it it means suppose if any body is being subjected to particular load then body is sufficient strength to resist that particular load is known as the strength of dead body so i am writing the definition in this in the mechanism of material the strength of material is its ability to withstand an applied load without failure or plastic deformations so what are these i am telling again strength of material is its ability to withstand an applied load without failure or deformation the field of strength of material deal with force and deformation that result from their acting on materials so these are the small introductions related to the subject so we are uh, discussing that uh, the strength of body which can be resist the applied force without being deformations so here we can classify how much types of body are there first is rigid body what is that rigid body a rigid body means if we can apply any load on that body then body doesn't changes deformations any other lateral changes is not happen on that body is is known as rigid body and here i am also right practically there is no rigid body another thing deformable body what are deformable body deformable body means those body if load are coming on that then body tends to buckle down or body changes its shape or between two points body going to be deformed it is known as deformable body the study of property of this body is also called elasticity so i am explain what is elasticity elasticity is the property of body by the virtue of which it tend to regain its original shape and size when deforming force is removed means suppose if we are taking an example of rubber if we are putting pressure on rubber if we are putting pressure on rubber the rubber tends to compress and as soon as i am removing the load the rubber is regain or its original shape so that means rubber is elastic body and that that deformation is not permanent deformation and this deformation is only on dependent on the application of load and the time of application of load okay next is what are the ductile behavior we are discussing so two types of body one is rigid body where deformation is not happening if the load is exit above the limit then body will going to be break down and another we are dealing with the deformable body if load are coming then body will tends to change its shape 
now what is ductile behavior ductile is in solid materials ability to deform under tensile stresses again i am explaining what is ductile behavior ductile is in solid material ability to deform under tensile stresses means we are taking an example if we having a copper wire and we are we have subjected to this copper wire on tensile load then this copper wire having an ability to deform and this behavior is known as ductile behavior another thing is brittle behavior what is brittle behavior if suppose we have in an electric bulb if this electric bulb is put uh, uh, drop down on the ground by a distance of 1 meter right it will be break so it is broke uh, brittle behavior the material is brittle if when subjected to stress it break without insignificant deformation means body is uh, subjected on road it can be directly break without giving it any warning of deformation so these are the two types of uh, behavior one is ductile behavior in which uh, body is uh, tends to deform and another is brittle behavior in this body is not tend to deform it is directly break now we are going to deal study of what is stress in unit 1 the topics uh, in unit 1 the name of unit is simple stress and strain many types of strain is stresses and strain are covered we are just going for the initial introductions of the subject what is stress so stress is nothing it is an resistance of body which can be occur per unit area that means how much amount of resistance is offered by body when the load is applied on it to resist for the deformations i am also explaining this again uh, suppose if we have, we are having an body and if we are putting a load on it then body tends to deform down so what are the stress and what are the role of stress on that case is that when load is applied on body and body is tends to deform down but the internal molecule of body create resistance to against deformation is known as stress so i am writing the topic so i am writing the definition of stress is here stress is applied force or system of force that tends to deform a body here the formula of stress external deforming force upon area unit of stress is newton per mm square it is also classified as mega pascal and the unit of stress is has same as it is the unit of pressure but here is a lot of difference between stresses and pressure here i am selecting one more types of stress there is lot of types of stress we are just uh, considering compressive stress and tensile stress uh, come to, uh, here you can see a uh, utm machines uh, having two jobs and uh, uh, between this we place in concrete block a force that attempt to squeeze or compress the material okay so if body is subjected to to compressive force then the resistance force occur by uh, resistance force created by the body is known as compressive stress another is tensile stresses same if body is subjected to tensile force then the resistance created by body against the tensile deformation is known as tensile stress and these tests can be conducted on universal testing machine here some of the reference books you can prefer for studying uh, strength of material uh, rajput rk chand uh, publications very good books and very nice uh, concepts has been described on this book strength of material with pc punamya bhavi gatti ramamurtham rk subramanyam and so on thank you so much i hope